Hello and welcome. I'm no 42 and in this episode we'll be showing you a keyring that you can customize yourself via Thingiverse. Okay, so this time I'll be showing you how easy it is to create a 3D printable keyring with thanks to the great creator any commentero. Thanks man. So I'm gonna go over to the computer and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so as you can see here on Thingiverse, if you click explore and then customizable things, you get this list here. And this is all just things you can just change and modify to the, the way that you want things. So you've got like wall mounts here for tissue boxes. <laughs> uh, there's a coin sorter here, which actually does have the dollars and also um, euros. It doesn't have pounds yet, pounds and pence which is uh, that's something, but here we go. We've got customizable paint palettes. So like for the little, uh, maybe like Warhammer kind of paints, uh, Citadel, I think they're called. Uh, you've got customizable clip IDs and stuff like that. Uh, but what we're gonna choose today is this, customizable simple keychains. So I'm gonna show you right now how, how easy it is to customize one of these uh, and actually get that sent to the printer. So we'll go, open to customizer we are now using customizer and you can see over here you get like a live live feed of it I don't know if you can rotate it you can kind of rotate it it's not great but it, it does kind of work so you can change the thickness of the base here there we go so we made it um three instead of four we want to keep depth text at about the same because that is quite a nice depth and we'll change the width to 90 there we go We'll add my name to it, so we'll go nafe 42 Height is fine at 20, and then we can change the radius down to like three. Depends how square you want it to be. If you change it down as low as it can go, you'll get square corners. Uh, if you turn it up a little bit, I think um, I'm gonna leave it on about five. Yeah, that's a nice level, that's a nice level. You've got rounded square corners. So there you go. And now you have a thing that you've just um, you've just created this, <laughs> and it's a little key ring. It's got the hole in it and everything. You just click create thing up here. You change the name of it, publish new thing, and then uh, it will show up in your things up here. So now we're in my things. We've got an A three forty two keychain, and then we've also got my Vive wall mount, which is uh, still available in here for download if you guys want that. Okay. Now, time to print it. Okay, so now we have it all customized. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Check this out. I think it's pretty cool here, the amount of customizability that you can actually get with absolutely no programming or 3D modeling experience. It's really helping to allow 3D printing to the masses and the common person who doesn't have time or doesn't want to invest in learning about how to make their own models or just simply wants to explore some new technology out there. I've put this on my Thingiverse. Uh, if you want, you can print one yourself, a NAF042 tag. It's on thingiverse.com forward slash NAF042. Check it out. If yours came out better than mine, I'd love to see it. Uh, and if it didn't, I'd love to see it too. Uh, send me a link to it on Twitter or just send me a picture on Twitter. You can do that as well. And also send me some suggestions for future 3D showcases. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys are interested in. But that's about it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nathan42. And thanks for watching.